anyone can ever get true justice. It's really sad. Twenty twenty four, I've said I'm going to take it easy. But there are some things that I am not going to look away from. I'm going to keep learning my voice for as much as I can. I don't care if at the end of the day, eh, I go. I would know that in this little life that I have lived, I have always stood on the truth and nothing but the truth. I'm not even here to talk about very dark man. I'm not here about that one. Because that one is already ongoing. I am here to talk about Fola Tinumbo. Liz and Jorin's um, was was that um, husband's uh, former wife or first wife? She former wife Lama Bini, I be the wife before Liz and Jorin. Now she called me. I got a call from her. She left voice messages and said they detained her at Alagbo. And I was like, why did they detain you? She had complained earlier that um, they froze her account. And then she needed that she has some little money there. She doesn't have money. She needs her money, blah, blah, blah. So the lawyer wrote a letter to the police people asking that they unfreeze her account. So they told her that she should come, that they want to unfreeze her account. And then she went there and then they detained her. Now, when she went there and they detained her, I called the AIG of Aladbo. He didn't pick my call. I called him numerous times. I sent messages. He did not respond to my calls. I called the DIG. DIG responded and said he was going to send a message to them that they should release her on bail because they said they are charging her to court tomorrow. Do you understand? Now, they said they are charging her to court tomorrow. And they will release her on bail. We went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on that. Until they now said, uh, uh, because uh, she had jumped bail before, she left a, um, what's it called? She left a, the person that stood for her left a fake address. So that is why they don't want to release her. Number one, you guys asked this lady to come to Abuja. She went all the way to Abuja. Because I'm aware of everything to meet you people. They said they were going to transfer. I spoke to the DIG then. They said they would transfer the case to Aladdin so that she doesn't keep wasting money on Tife. Because she's a struggling mother with four children. I mean, having to make her come all the way to Abuja, do you understand? It doesn't make any sense. She's struggling to take care of her children. Four. So the DIG said they would transfer it to Aladbo. And the lawyer made sure that they kept in contact with her. They kept having that conversations with her back and forth. She even had to go to see the AIG of Aladbo with my lawyer to have a verbal conversation to explain to her all what is going on. And the AIG said, you know what? When they, they have not brought the case. When they bring it, when they mean it, the um, case to me here, yeah, we will take it up. I'm talking about uh, for Latinobu. The reason why Liz has been coming for me is because of this lady we are talking about for Latinobu. So, number one, this lady came to her, um, Abuja. She flew down to Abuja. You guys allowed her to go. She came to see the AIG in Aladbo, where she had a verbal conversation that explained to her what the problem is. So you guys now ask her to come. You are saying that she's jumping bail, which this girl has been coming to you people 
So why would you detain her? There's a lawyer there. You said someone needs to stand. The person is standing there. And still yet they did not grant her bail. What kind of country are we living in? I need to understand. This is a lady that has left her children at home to come and honor you. If she is running away, would she carry her two legs and come herself? Would she carry her two legs to come? A lawyer was there. Someone to someone was there. So I mean, it's just the situation of this country is just is just somehow. It's just funny. It's just it's just funny. Where people have to use their power is, is just crazy. If the poor ones do not have you people in high authority to run to, then we ask that she be bailed. They said, no, they are not granting her bail. On what grounds? They said, eh, eh, because she's been resisting her. How has she resisted? You asked her to come to Abuja. She flew all the way to Abuja. This is just a few weeks ago. She still came back. I made her go to see the AIG in Aladdin also to state all that. She did a verb and they said, okay, when this time she will come. So how has she, how has she jumped bail? How has she jumped bail? AIG Aladdin, how has she jumped bail? They said a man, Lizanne Jory, recently went on her social media space, uh, chanting with voodoo, cursing on this lady's children, saying that they were going to die, cursing her and her children, which she had done repeatedly before. She is still walking free. I reported Lizanne Jory. They summoned her to come. She, she didn't go. She sent her lawyer. She later went there to lie that the case has been moved to, Abu, uh, to Abuja. A case that my lawyer had already gone to Abuja and they had already told them. And the DIG there had moved the case to Aladdin. She quickly ran to fundamental, fundamental human rights saying that uh, with the police and the uh, me that we are bullying her. Who is bullying who? But... Me, I'm like this because you know what? Me, I always like to see where this fight of justice will go, always go. Me, I know the rush. Do you understand? I know the rush. You come on cyberspace and do so much. Even if you want to take this lady to court, it's simple. Go to court. She has not said that she's not going to go to court. But why would you people be detaining her? For what? I do understand. You've asked her to come. She has come. She's been to Abuja. She came here to Lagos. Now again, again, you asked her to come. She went and you people detained her. And the said people that have been, that have been bullying her are walking free. When when is Nigeria? When, you know, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard when you are asked to always look away. It's sickening. And you see, these things are funny. These things are funny. Lizanne Jory, I wanted to pipe low on your matter, but I'm not going to pipe low. We will do this justice. This case, we go do one. We go do this case. Honestly. If you like, do video from nothing to 2000 and whatever. Call me all kind of operated names that you like. This case, we go do one. Because this is so unfair. Osi Bokwe. Enye Leni. Oh, to fe fisi le. Ko ko rojura ye tojo a wong mo to ni ni le. Ye en fo wong la bay e de fi mi ba lo ju. It doesn't make any sense. 
It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I've never seen this kind of thing before. And I have seen though, but just this one is funny. It's funny. And I await. So they said they are taking her to court tomorrow. Abby, we are we, we go day there. We go day there with media. I want to see what, how this thing is going to unfold. Because for Lenyon, the Baniko Lenyon, I want to see how all these things is going to unfold. Why would Fola be arrested again? I want to know. Why she has to be arrested? It doesn't make any sense. We will see to it. They said they are not going to release her today. She has to go to court tomorrow. So she will go to court tomorrow. Don't you mind what you say? She will go to court tomorrow. We will see. I, we need to understand. We need to understand. He said she said that she sent a killer. For la pushing struggle at the one to my day. Pushing struggle at the one to my mom. Someone that is still struggling to feed her children, struggling to see how she's going to take care of her family. We will see. Because I am also a single mother. And I will not stand and watch you people do this to her. That Allah don't, we will be there. The court we will be there. Yes. Where you people, Liz and Johnny and your husband, I'm talking to both of you today. Wherever you people want to take this for Latin Ungu's case to, I will be there with you. We will see to it. Do you understand? We will see to it. You people should allow this lady with her four children rest. Four children she has. She won my ba, won my ba o koko tu, you won the koko, no my koko fair married man. We will see to it. Tomorrow is round the corner. We are here. We will see to it.